everybody, this is Dean DaCosta, The Search Authority, and we are looking at, or I am going to be showing, the new and improved Hire Tool. As most of you know, Hire Tool is a source tool, uh, really, really, really good, does a lot, can find content info, find people, everything you want. So we're going to go to the source piece, because that's where the new stuff is. And as you can see, whereas before, you used to have to come, keep going down lower and lower to get to all the different things you could search for, now you don't. So let's start with... You know, you can start with title. We're going to put in the word developer. It's what I do. We got that. It'll give me other ones I could put in. We could put in skills. I'm going to add in Java. I'm going to add in Python. I'm going to add in uh, Scala. Over here, you can see our numbers changing, letting us know. You can put related skills, SQL. Uh, down here, you can give it a location. We're going to do 50 miles. We'll pick Seattle because that's where I'm at. Seattle, Washington. You can do years of experience. For now, we'll just go six to eight. You see the numbers changing, changing, which is cool. Then we can add in companies. We can exclude or include companies. We can do education, saying what kind of degree, school, major, graduation. We can do experience, years with a current company, years in a role. And then we can do more filters, which is languages, diversity, security clearances, sourcing channels, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then we're here. Now, you got our number. It still has insights. This is what will tell you how many people have the title developer, how many people may have other titles that are related to developer, like software engineer, uh, general education, general stuff. It's where you would do your research. And then you start sourcing. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, oh, excuse me, pardon me. Instead of sourcing, you do your calibration. So let's see. Experience available with demonstrated history of blah, 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 blah. He works at ClearTag. He worked before that at Multifex. He's got an MBA, uh, SQL, Java, blah, blah, blah. It's got everything on. So we'll say good fit. Then we go Joaquin Miguel de Nestedeus. Um, now, I asked for, C oh, I see what happened. The Seattle didn't stay. So let's go back and get that thing to stay. There we go. That was my bag. So I no wonder why we had somebody from Spain. Here we go. Now we're different. 3,644. All right. So Zachariah Kendall, software developed by Agilis. Agilis, Java, Python, boom, 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 boom. And I asked for boom, 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 boom. They're all there. Good fit. Next up, Amula Ledi. Technical lead, big data, big data developer, T-Mobile, yay, Java, blah, 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 good. I really don't want a lead, didn't ask for a lead, so we're going to say not a good fit. Uh, software engineer, recent developer, uh, skills are right, masters, go. Uh, project lead, didn't ask for project lead, so not a fit. And software engineer, Google and Microsoft, yeah, uh, you think, fit. So now let's start sourcing. So what happens is you have to match it up to a project. I'm going to just put it in the test one because that's just kind of what I put these things when I'm testing things. And let's start the sourcing. Now, initially, it's going to try to find you um, five pe uh, 50 people. But you could say source more and have it look for more people right here. Uh, you, could do, you can add up to 300. But the thing is, you can do like, I'm going to do 300 just to do it. I'm going to submit and give it a second. This number will jump to 350. But if you want more, you can go ahead and do it again. Just keep going up by 300 a pop and submit. And now this 350 is going to jump to 650 and um, right there. And then they've already found 18. They've looked through a bunch of people. They're doing all this neat stuff. You go away. When they're done, they send you an email. Hey, we're ready. Come on back. You look at your results and you're good to go. The way they look, we'll go into projects and I'll show you one I've done. We'll do uh, this one here. You open her up which takes a second and there's all your people 390 at this point you can look at them you can change them, you can do whatever you want you could check them you could check the first group of 50 then you or 10 excuse me and then you can say grab them all and then you can sync or export um and this is where you get um where you'll get emails phone numbers by exporting it automatically finds emails and phone numbers for you i see i've already done that with this group and that's the newest stuff now you can also search within um, your group. So like if I wanted to search for uh, Java in this group, um, which I don't expect to find any because none of them are Java people, but um, you can. So some really good stuff here. Let's see. Uh, this was our test 170. So you see it's already it's still probably I'm guessing I would guess it's still looking. I'd be surprised if it's done considering how many I asked for. So I'm guessing it's still looking. Um, now, the IT tech, this is just IT tech, same thing, but all you're going to see here is pre-constructed ways of finding just tech. So this way you don't have to worry about project manager being a tech or non-tech project manager, it's tech. Healthcare, same thing. This is where you're going to look for healthcare people. Um, so let's see, let's do um, 
I put in ED, END for endo, whatever, and there's a bunch of different endo things. So it's the same thing. So what they've done is just made it simpler and easier for you to do the IT and the healthcare searches and not have to worry about maybe teams like project manager, program manager, stuff like that. That might mean, you know, a project manager for construction and a project manager for IT aren't the same thing. Just not. Um, you know, people can have a doctor, but that doesn't mean they're a doctor. You can have a doctor in physics just by having a master's degree. Um, uh, I mean, excuse me, a PhD, not a master's, a PhD. So they've done they've done it this way to make it easier and simpler for you, so that you don't have to look through everybody. You can only look through the ones you want. Like in this case, there's 10 million plus healthcare people numbers right there. The IT people jumps to 20 million plus, and then this is their general, which says 700 million plus. So that's all good. Um, so. Uh, it's good that they did it. it. It allows it to be a little more focused um, and everything. And I, and I like it. I like the new thing because, to be honest with you, I never liked going all the way down to the bottom to do stuff. I like it now where I do what I do and then it, it clicks up. I can go across, do what I want, and then come back, do my search, and I'm good to go. I like that a lot better. So, overall, I like the changes. I think it's good. I think it'll help everybody. And I think Hydro continues to be uh, a tool that should be amongst the top of your list of tools to use. My name is Dean DeCosta, Search Authority. We were talking the new uh, Hyrtual search UI, the IT tech search, and the U.S. healthcare search. May the source be with you.